Welcome to another video of Cognos 10.2 Live Practical Project Implementation by Bharti DW Consultancy. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create the second section of this CFO1 report. In the last few videos, we created a dashboard and also did a lot of formatting around the dashboard. So, in this video, we are going to do the second part of CFO1. Create a prompt page with three different multi-select and optional prompts. The columns we are going to use are country, year and product category. So let's start with this. I'm going to go to this report which we have been creating. We want to make sure we save it. Go to page explorer and click on prompt pages. In the prompt page, on the left hand side, drag and drop the prompt page on the right. Double click this and you would be taken down to the prompt page. I want the header to be same as the report page. So I go back to the page explorer, click on report pages page 1, select this block and right click copy go back to the page explorer go to prompt page 1 and you can select the page header make sure on the properties you have page header right click and say paste remove the one which had which was created earlier and also select header again and put a border. This looks pretty much the same as what we had for the report page. Next we are going to create prompts. From the list select value prompt from the toolbox, drag and drop the value prompt and as a standard, we're going to use small p or up lowercase p country as the prompt name for country. It says create a parameterized filter. So I'm going to use from the presentation layer customers country and in the operator because remember it was multi select I'm gonna use in if it is single select I'm gonna use equal to but if it's multi select I'm gonna use in make the filter optional say next make sure you select all the queries these queries are for individual objects on the report say next and here in the query name it as country prompt query all right and say finish you can see a prompt is created next add one more value prompt this time for product category so I'm going to say P underscore product cat. Same, we have to create a parameterized filter from the product, select product category. I'm going to just rush through it because it's the same way. Do not forget to select the filter optional because you want an optional filter. Make sure this time you select all the queries except the last one which is the country prompt. We don't want to select this. Say next and here you would say, con sorry not country but product category prompt query. Say finish. And do the same thing for years. So I'm going to add here P underscore year 
and I'm again gonna use the parameterized filter so calendar sales here I'm gonna use equal to in make the filter optional next make sure again you select all the queries except the last two which is country and prompt because these queries are now part of the list of queries and that's that that's why they show up do not select this say next here you're gonna say here prompt query and just say finish here so these are the three prompts and let's make sure that it works so I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna select US I'm gonna select two values here and one value here and you can see that the entire report is now being filtered for the values you are selected so see US data only is coming up in all of the cases so let's make it a bit more interesting on the prompt page on the prompt page it does not look good so let me run the prompt page again it does not look good it doesn't tell me what the values are for so I'm going to put some labels to make it more interactive or more attractive I'm sorry and then I'm gonna add a table for a table now I'm gonna add two columns and three rows I'll tell you why so the three rows I'm gonna add country on the top this is country year the second and the product category as the third you can lay out in any fashion you want whatever works for you and your client on the left side from the text I'm gonna add country and I'm, click on, I'm gonna click on OK make sure it is aligned on the top and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other box so this is added but I added country year and product category let's make it bold and I'm gonna make it right aligned so that it's closer to this box and I'm going to run it this prompt page is changed uh, or would be changed when it comes up but it does not look really in attractive so let's make it this box is too big so I'm gonna make it smaller so other thing is I'm gonna put it on the left side and I'm gonna put it side by side because it introduces a scroll button which I do not like so please understand this I'm trying to avoid the scroll button in most of the cases if there is not a possible option I'm gonna leave it like that so on the left hand side I'm gonna drag and drop this and it is so easy to code in Cognos you just have to drag and drop and do like this so this would avoid me scroll also select the prompt here and set the size to let's say width is okay or I can set width is okay height let's say 2 inches same with ear let's make it 2 inches if you need more obviously you can change it but for my example I think 2 inches would be good enough and here also I'm gonna make it as 2 inches once done I'm gonna run it and see how it looks looks better but still we could improve it we can put borders and stuff around it we'll do it later uh, on this bottom you see that the two buttons back and next are not used so I do not need it 
let's get rid of this so first of all select the bu button click on delete select other button click on delete and as these are not aligned I'm going to introduce another table and put it in the first section and I'm going to remove this maximize width one column sorry two columns and one row you can see the table appears here in the first tab I'm going to add country and in the next one I'm going to add the the tab or the the prompt make it top aligned and bold next I'm going to add one more row in this table which I just added or you could have earlier done two rows two columns one and the same thing so I'm gonna go to table say inserts insert row below one row you see this row added in this row I'm going to add here and I'm going to add the prompt this is just to make sure the alignment is all proper this is just for the alignment nothing else now I believe the alignment would be better let's add the borders to select the table cell and click on border table cell here and click on the border and let's add the borders for these also so I'm gonna add the border again and run the report so you, you look you can see that this looks much better as compared to the previous one so I'm going to select or if I do not select still it will work I'll click on finish and you can see the report runs now let's make it more interactive which takes us to our next and final thing make the dashboard interactive by copying the prompts from the prompt page to the report page now in the report page you make it single select and auto submit let's see how to do that going back to report this is the prompt page the whole table the main table I'm gonna copy right click and copy and I'm gonna paste it on the report page like this once pasted please remember that Cognos by default would paste it at the bottom scroll down select the whole table again make sure the properties is table and drag and drop it to the left hand side of the table which was originally created in the previous exercise so you can see that the table moved to the top as this is the report page I want single select so I'll click on the first prompt and make this multi select as no and in the UI I'm gonna use drop down same here for ear I'm gonna make this as multi select as no and this one as drop down and again for the product category I'm gonna do the same thing so you have this prompt now from multi select to single select already done for auto submit so that it makes the screen refresh I'm going to select the first prompt again and there is a property auto submit and I'm gonna say yes again for year 
I am going to say yes. This is the auto submit is a property which which would refresh the page with the prompts which you have selected in the process. Again, I'm going to make it yes. So all prompts are now single select and auto submit, which is what was mentioned in the requirement document. You can see how I am following the requirement document as what is being written. Save it. Now run the report. So on this screen, I do not select anything. I say finish. And you can see that once the dashboard is generated, you can see the prompt pages again. I, I will change the width of the prompt page, this width. So you can see that the dashboard is created. I will say India, UK or US. I will select US and the whole screen, you can see it's being refreshed again. There you go. So let's make it much more precise. This is too much width. So I'm going to go back to make the width appear correctly. Select on this table cell, this table cell and I'm going to say size and overflow. Sorry. Select the entire table and make this width remove this make nothing and make it left aligned here on the table cell in this properties where we mentioned two inches for now remove it because now it's a single select we don't care about the the height or the width of these boxes. I just want to make sure that you understand the difference between the prompt page and the report page. The prompt page is for like one single selection one time when you run the report but the prompts on the report page are there forever for you to use so make sure you make it look good. So now let's see by running this report so this is the prompt page you can see this is available click on finish and you can see that the prompts have been minimized and now you select let's select year you can see the whole screen is refreshed for year 2013 and this is how the data looks like a couple of small tweaks I'm gonna add the report name here or here in the subtitle so that you understand it's CFO report 1. So I'm going to go get a block and put it underneath BDCS XYZ. I'm going to make sure it's center aligned and drag and drop the text and say CFO hyphen 1. You can see, and obviously you can uh, in decrease the size a bit, so that. So, let's run the report, and this looks a finished product. This this report, you can get it tested, and you are ready to deliver this. In the next videos, we are going to see how to create the other reports too. Keep watching. Thank you.